All right, guys, a little bit of a different video. So I was watching this video by Luke Miani where he showed off the uh, uh, Framework Laptop 16, which is the new gaming laptop from Framework with the new RTX 5070 uh, laptop GPU module. So uh, I was watching that video and, you know, uh, Luke Miani is an Apple influencer and typical a Apple influencer fashion. They have to show benchmarks uh, proving that uh, how much superior the Apple Silicon is compared to everything in the world, you know, so... There you go, benchmarks, uh, Blender Classroom GPU benchmark, a very classic benchmark that most Apple Silicon users run. And uh, it's a pretty classic benchmark, everybody uh, knows the numbers. And he showed off this benchmark where he shows that the RTX 5070 mobile is significantly slower than the M4 Pro. Or you can say the M4 Pro is significantly faster, which immediately raised red flags in my mind because I know these numbers, like it's in my back of my head. Okay, because I have dealt with desktop GPUs from NVIDIA in this benchmark and I almost like by heart remember those numbers. So what's going on here? Even Luke Miani says this thing in the video. Just hear it. I mean, look at this. Apple's got some crazy stuff going on. The M4 Pro and Macs are significantly faster than an RTX 5070. That is kind of wild. But that is indeed wild because how can the 5070 take like 38 seconds in this benchmark when an RTX 4060 laptop GPU takes much lower? I'm going to show you in a minute. So here's the problem. So you can see the Blender GPU benchmark. He used the Metal API for the uh, M4 Pro. He used HIP for AMD and he used CUDA for the RTX 5070. Now we know that the CUDA library was the default, you know, de facto choice for uh, NVIDIA laptop, NVIDIA GPUs. But, you know, it's been long. It's been really long now that CUDA has been upgraded and replaced with Optics. I mean, CUDA still works, obviously, but Optics is the one that takes advantage, that actually takes advantage of these uh, RTX GPUs with these ray tracing cores. I mean, uh, it's well known, but, you know, still the methodology of testing is just incorrect, which just misrepresents these results. So the RTX GPUs, they have those ray tracing cores, right, which is like really good for denoising and whatnot. I'm not an expert, but... The correct way to test this would be by using the optics uh, backend and you know because he hasn't used that it just shows that as if the m4 pro is like way faster than rtx 5070 mobile let me give you an example okay so let me just show you to show this to you so here is my laptop right so this is my laptop over here which is the uh, lenovo lock uh, I bought this like almost two years ago now. Uh, this laptop is like a mid-range laptop. It has an RTX 4060 laptop GPU and uh, this thing costs like what? Like uh, 75,000 rupees, okay? And the cheapest Mac, it's like what? Let me show you, okay? Let me just quickly open up the price for the cheapest Mac. A MacBook Pro M4. Uh, so M4 Pro MacBook Pro, right? Buy. So if we go into this, okay, so here you go. The cheapest M4 Pro, MacBook Pro, starts at 1,70,000 rupees. And I don't know even, I don't know how many GPU cores this has. Uh, if I click over here. So this thing has the 16 GPU core, whatever that means. So this thing is 170,000 rupees and my uh, Lenovo lock is like how much? 70,000, 75, 75, 78,000 rupees. I bought it for 72,000 rupees actually, but whatever. So this thing is like two and a half times more expensive, the M4 Pro. So let's compare, right? So let's compare. So the, uh, according to Luke Miani, the RTX 5070 takes 38 seconds and apparently is much slower than the M4 Pro. So let's just compare. So here is my specifications. Let me open up my task manager. So you can see the CPU is very, very basic. It's an Intel Core i5-12450HX. It is uh, having four P cores and four E cores, very basic, like nothing, like not at all a powerhouse or anything, but it gets the job done for gaming. You know, it's it has got decent single core performance for gaming and all. And the GPU is the NVIDIA RTX 4060 mobile GPU. All right, eight gigabytes of VRAM, nothing special. So let's just test the uh, benchmark which uh, Luke Miani tested. So let's open Blender over here. So uh, here's my, here's Blender. And let's just go to edit, go to preference. And then in the preferences, you can see instead of CUDA, we are going to use optics and we are using the NVIDIA RTX laptop GPU. Okay, let me close this. We come over here and make sure to select the GPU compute because this is a GPU test. So GPU compute. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on, we're gonna probably gonna open this, put it over here. So as you can see the GPU usage. 
and we're going to go to render and we're going to go and click on render image so you can see the gpu is now rendering so you can see you can see the progress over here there we go okay and you can see my gpu is being used 100 percent usage almost So you can see 22 seconds 75. So 22 seconds 75 milliseconds on an RTX 4060. This is a very like a two year old like uh, GPU entry level GPU I would say with 8 gigabytes of VRAM at this point. And uh, here we have the Apple M4 Pro, a cutting edge silicon from Apple costing like two and a half times to even get access to this, uh, you know, piece of hardware so that's what i wanted to point out i mean i'm not hating on luke obviously i'm not hating on apple silicon but the problem is the glazing is just at at such a level that you just tend to ignore the correct methodologies of testing the other side of the hardware that you end up misrepresenting it like someone if someone naive is looking at this like a non-apple fanboy a neutral person who is new to the market doesn't have an apple product not a pc he comes here and he sees this and sees that the apple m4 pro is like performing way better than the RTX 5070, he may, you know, he may get, he or she may get, you know, misguided, right? Because clearly an RTX 4060 laptop is faster than the Apple M4 Pro. And if you want to check the benchmarks for the actual RTX 5070, you can just head over to the Blender Open Data Benchmark over here. It's, you can just, uh, you know, put your, uh, Filters over here, so you can see 57, 57 Ti, Apple M4 Pro, Optics Metal, and you can see the benchmarks over here. You can see just how much faster the uh, median score of the 5070 laptop GPU is compared to the Apple M4 Pro. Significant difference, okay? And the thing is, at this price of the Apple M4 Pro, you know, 170,000 rupees at the base, okay? Uh, at the base of that price, you get how much? 16 core GPU. For the same price, you can get an RTX 5070 laptop, 5070 Ti laptop GPU, which will be like, like, like it's more than double the uh, you know difference. So this is like 2.3K. This thing is 5,000, 5K. It's a huge difference in performance in Blender, right? So again, not hating on anybody. Apple Silicon is amazing, amazing efficiency. Nobody's denying that. But the glazing is in such a level that you end up misrepresenting. Uh, the hardware that is available in the market at much more reasonable prices. That's all I want to talk about in this video, guys. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching.